they say this is the and by they I mean the gut hook commenters say this is the best toilet on trail because of the views well I might have to agree yo <clears throat> yo it's booty here and um, did 27 miles yesterday another 27 um, and what started out as a uh, wonderful glorious uh, day um, ended with some very uh, frustrating and cussing uh, towards the end um, yeah so uh, it, it was a pretty pretty mellow uh, hike for 18 miles but um, there are two climbs that I had to do uh, one that was um, like a little over 1500 feet in about it, it was less than two miles I know that um, and it was very overgrown, very unmaintained, a lot of blown da blow downs. So, um, you know, top that with a tough climb, um, just uh, wasn't having it. <laughs> and then uh, after that, not not too much longer after that, um, there's another uh, thousand foot climb in 1.7 miles, uh, which wasn't as bad, but still overgrown um and uh unmaintained so uh you know um i was still you know pushing through and um these climbs <clears throat> once i finished them i just you know yelled and roared <laughs> because uh it, it just felt so accomplishing to um having done that and uh complete a uh, big day so um yeah and uh not to mention the views were spectacular um at the last one fire fire creek pass i believe it was called and i ended up at uh, micah lake um and i uh um sorry and i climbed <laughs> I climbed a, a huge mound of rock to uh, the only two trees I could find for my hammock, um, luckily, and um, <clears throat> and Mike Lake was uh, uh, absolutely gorgeous, and um, yeah, so uh, woke up, uh, left camp pretty early, um, but uh, I went only half a mile here. Uh, to that toilet with a uh, um, gorgeous view and uh, here I am just chilling uh, read a little bit of the uh, lost city of the monkey god and um, about to get up and we got a uh, four mile 2200 foot climb in not too far from here and then after that um, it's pretty much downhill for a good portion uh, of the day and uh, uh, won't be climbing too much. So, um, yeah, and uh, then after that, um, there's going to be another climb if I decide to do another 27 mile day. Um, it'll be about 5,000 feet of uh, uh, elevation gain throughout the day if I decide to do that. But uh, uh, I'm on schedule to uh, finish in time. Um, trying to finish a day earlier than the 15th, so um, have to average 27 miles. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's just amazing out here, it really is. And um, yeah, I can't really think of anything else I uh, have to say. Uh, my body uh, feels pretty good. I slept good last night and um, got plenty of food. Um, fire up our energy is uh, keeping me going. <laughs> Sponsor me. Um, and uh, yeah, tomorrow, uh, 
may or may not be going to uh, Lake Chelan. Uh, there's, from what I see in the comments, there's not too much on the resupply front there. So I may keep going um, as long as my uh, battery pack is good, which it should be. Um, and then the next stop uh, is Rainy Pass, and that's 20 miles from there. So um, potentially three days until um, I go into uh, town. So yeah, I'm just gonna uh, keep working, man. And uh, life is good. I'll talk to y'all later. Booty out. The rewards of a 2,600 foot climb, about 5,900 feet in elevation. What up? It's Booty, and guess what? We're on the PCT. And um, yeah, it's beautiful out here. Um, so yesterday, um, I did about 28 miles, um, and uh, I stretched, and uh, that really helped uh, carry me through uh, the whole day. Um, I'm realizing more and more that stretching uh, helps me go these uh, long miles here. So, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, the first climb uh, wasn't terrible, um, but it did take a good bit of energy out of me. Um, but after that, it was uh, mostly downhill and uh, easy terrain, and um, yeah, I... Uh, Got into some thick, uh, dense forest with uh, very tall trees, uh, a lot of uh, fallen trees, blowdowns. Had to uh, hop over a lot, and um, a lot of mushrooms. Um, and uh, yeah, it was it was very uh, very um, I don't know mystical. Let's go with that. Yeah, mystical. Uh, walking around and uh, uh, walked along this river I forget what it was called uh, the Milk River maybe maybe um, but yeah um, and then uh, did uh, one final climb to end the day out um, but it was nice and gradual and I ended up at uh, Miners Creek um, and it was very uh, uh, dewy in the morning um, a little chilly but not bad I slept well and uh, yeah so uh, here we are and um, there's a lot of different colors going on here um, I see like burgundy uh, green lime green yellow green um, uh, it's a very very uh, cool vibe we got going on here and um, 
all these evergreens as well. So, uh, yeah, looking to do uh, big miles once again, go figure. Uh, we got about uh, five, five days, including today, left. So, um, gonna make the best out of it. And um, uh, one uh, uh, obstacle, uh, hopefully it's the last obstacle for me, is uh, resupply. Um, there's a high bridge coming up in about 20 miles and uh, it leads to Lake Chelan. Uh, the general store there does not have any resupply material available um, from what I've seen on the comments. And uh, there's a bakery, however, um, but uh, I think I have uh, one full day here left of food. So I'm very well debating on uh, pushing on past High Bridge um, and then not eating any food in the morning, maybe picking some berries. And uh, then I'll probably have about uh, 14 miles to um, Rainy Pass where I'll uh, hitch and get a, a good resupply. And the final resupply, um, leading up to the border. So, um, some to uh, pick on while I hike here, but um, either way, I know I can make uh, uh, the rest of the day here and night uh, with enough food, so. Anyways, um, terrain doesn't seem too horrible today, and uh, I just did the first climb. It looks like mostly downhill for the rest of the uh, first half of today. So, uh, um, yeah, we're just going to keep on keeping on, and I'll talk to you all later. Booty out. In case you're wondering, yes, that hammock was very close to the ground. It's because these trees were too far apart. Got to remember that next time. Hey, good morning. It is booty. And uh, starting out early today. It's about 7.30. Um, yesterday did uh, almost 28 miles. And uh, I did skip uh, on going to Stahican. Um, I uh, managed, I was actually planning on going to Stahican and <clears throat> hoping to see if I could hitch a ride there. Um, the road is uh, not paved, uh, but there is a bus that picks hikers up and takes them into the uh, town. And uh, there are a few other hikers waiting there. So um, I told them my situation, and um, one of them gave me uh, <clears throat> a couple cliff bars, a couple tuna packets, um, and a uh, tortilla roll. So I think that'll uh, carry me through these uh, 14 miles that I have to go to uh, Rainy Pass, where I will be hitching into uh, most likely Mazama and um, getting food there. So, very thankful for that. Um, and uh, otherwise, I would be stuck back there uh, just starting the day out uh, 
probably, uh, I think it was five miles back. So i um, glad I got a little uh, head start here uh, for the beginning of the day. Uh, saw a bear coming into, uh, or not too far from this uh, campground. Um, and <clears throat> judging by the gut hook comments um, for the next however many miles, it seems to be a lot of bear activity. Um, but uh, yeah, there's bear boxes here. Um, I'm sure I'll see a lot more bear uh, coming up. Um, the bear I did see, it was uh, climbing up a tree like it was a big one too, and it went about uh, six feet up. And uh, I yelled at it, I was like, get out of here, <laughs> I'm trying to hike. And uh, it went back down, I clapped my hands, and uh, it ran away. I think it was with a couple other bears too, so. Um, yeah, we're in North Cascades uh, National Park now. I think this is the official uh, North Cascades. I know uh, I probably, said we were in the North Cascades a while back, but uh, I think this is officially North Cascades, so. Um, yeah, so we are just about to get into the uh, double digits. Um, <clears throat> I think we have <clears throat> 104 miles uh, left to go as of right now, so looking to finish in four hiking days and um, yeah four days left man amazing all right I gotta go hike <laughs> talk to y'all later booty out Just to add a few things from earlier, um, we have been in the double digits since uh, yesterday, but I uh, added 30 miles because I have to backtrack to Hearts Pass. I explained that uh, in one of the other videos. But yeah, I gotta, we're already, uh, uh, I don't know how many miles till Canada right now, but we're definitely under 100 right now. Uh, also, the water uh, around here has been outstanding. Uh, glacial runoff um, has created the best taste in water, in my opinion, um, so far. And um, also, at the privy, back at uh, the campground, um, I was low on TP. In fact, I used my last sheet of TP um, yesterday and uh, I was gonna use uh, moss as a wiping substitute but lo and behold at the privy there was a roll of toilet paper which I snagged uh, just enough what I thought I would need for the rest of this trip so just uh, how the trail has been turning out so far um, works out in many different ways anyways Back to hiking. Sup, dog. Currently eating pizza at Raven's Roost, a very awesome hiker stop in Mazama. Uh, Raven was the first uh, solo female hiker to uh, hike the PCT. Awesome uh, outside hangout spot. Very cool, very cool.
this is it, the final resupply. What we got? Ramen, cheese, that, cookies, M&Ms, kind of bars, dates, more ramen, granola, a few of these, candy, Reese's sticks, pretzel pieces, love them, and wheat thins, and Butterfinger, and this is for right now, this is huge tub of tap tapioca pudding, this is also for right now, and that was biscuits and gravy, so getting ready baby, the final stretch.